So I just got home from seeing Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. And it was awesome. A lot of action. Exciting throughout. As you know, the Mission Impossible movies, they're all great. Even the second one, I like. My favorite has been the one before this, Fallout with Henry Cavill. And this is a must-watch. Gotta see it in the movie theaters. However, it's not the best Mission Impossible. Fallout is with Henry Cavill. And I'll tell you why. Two reasons. One, the villain is not really a strong villain. And two, the story isn't as good as Fallout. Now, still awesome. Still action-packed. But, like, for example, the villain... Like in, in, in Fallout, Henry Cavill, he's like this brute force, you know? And there's a bunch of fighting with them and all that stuff, you know? Here, there is fighting with villains, but the main protagonist, the main villain... Uh, I don't, I'm not going to spoil anything, but... There's a lot of points in the movie. They take a lot of time trying to explain an exposition... On why the villain is a threat. And what's going on. There's a lot of talking about that. And you lose some of that villainous. You know a villain. Like to me should be you look at him. And you're like oh yeah. That's a villain right there. And it evokes a. Emotion from you. Pissed off or whatever. And. You know the script. Like the story was smarter. In Fallout. And interesting stuff going on you know there's a lot of interesting stuff in this one there's the whole gang is here there's some laughs the classic mission possible laughs um the car chase scenes i love you know i've been sick of seeing that motorcycle jump that we've been seeing you know in previews and stuff and behind the scenes but in the movie in the context of the movie when it happens and the scenes it shows right after what you see in the previews is awesome so it's it doesn't feel like uh, this is annoying you know because I was kind of getting sick of seeing that uh, a lot of people have been talking about the ending um, uh, and and train spectacle it is really cool but it didn't it, it's not like mind-blowing to me the way people are making it out to be Especially if you've played Uncharted 2, how that game starts. This is basically what it is. Um, But very well done. Uh, Definitely edge of your seat the whole time. Loved it, loved it. Um, But this year has been awesome in movies and releases. And, you know, me and my family went and we were talking afterwards. And we, we said... We all enjoyed Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny better. That has a warmth to it. You know, they're not they're not a, exactly the same type of movie, but I mean that's an adventure. This is more action, suspense, spy, but still like a enjoying going out to enjoy a movie. Indiana Jones Dial of Destiny was funner for us, you know. And had a warmth to it. Um, But this year, like, my favorite so far has been Spider-Man. Across the Spider-Verse. Indiana Jones, Dollar Destiny. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons was really good. Um, John Wick 4. This is right up there with them. Um, So, definitely a must-watch. Just not the be-all and end-all of Mission Impossible. But I am really looking forward to seeing part two next year and i can see all the mission impossibles all the time and never get sick of them and this is included in that um i'll tell you the other thing i did feel the runtime a little but it was never boring i just felt the longness of it uh i I don't feel like i need to go back to the theaters to watch it again though like for indiana jones and the doll destiny i really wanted to go back and i did see it again this I'm satisfied enough with it. Must watch, but I don't feel the need to have to go back to the movies to watch it again. So that's my review. Uh, 
Hope you go see it and enjoy it. If you like Mission Impossible, you'll love it. If you don't like Mission Impossible, I don't know what's wrong with you. So I don't, I don't think there's anybody that doesn't like Mission Impossible, so you'll enjoy it. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day.